Hey, you ready to go back to school today? Uh. Maybe you want to go for a run with me. The physical activity might be good for you. Good, you like the cereal. I wasn't sure. Hey, I would really appreciate it if we didn't text while we were eating. Yes, sir, Captain Table Etiquette. That's gunnery sergeant table etiquette to you. been six years, and I still have to remind myself, don't set a place for her at the table. And I didn't do it all through her chemo. Maybe it's because I knew she was at the hospital, but now it's... Some days it just feels like I haven't talked to her in a few hours, you know? I said I'm done. Who else experiences that? Memories like dominoes. I'd hear a song on the radio, it would remind me of the drive through the week before. And that would remind me of Amy's favorite milkshake. And suddenly I'm crying in the middle of a Best Buy, making a big scene. This morning at the gas station, bawling like a baby, because I entered the stupid debit card pin number at the pump. <laughs> Instead of running the card as a credit. <laughs> she always hated that. <laughs> and that's why we share these stories. I am not alone. 
I am not alone. Hey, did you eat? Can you knock? Are you hungry? I'm on the phone. Yeah, I can see that. You know, it's a little late for the phone. Who are you talking to? Just because you married my mom, you think you get to play dad? Who are you talking to? Uh, it's me, Mr. Donaldson. Steven Jansen. You met him at the wedding and the funeral and a million other times. Oh, wooden plates. That's me. Hi, Steven. Well, look, um, don't make it too late, okay? You going back to school in the morning. Night. That was a little harsh, don't you think? Whose side are you on? It doesn't hurt to be nice, all I'm saying. He doesn't care. He was stuck with me and he hates it. I don't know why she even married him. Little birdie told me he might be going away for a while. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Which little birdie? Is it, I think it was Ramirez. Yeah, maybe. How things going with Emma? Tied up with Emma. Everything okay? It's John. He's going to be all upset because you're driving me instead of him. Well, win him over with kindness. Hey, John. What's up? What is the rule, Emma? Nobody but you or somebody you trust drives me. Exactly. Okay. While someone else is driving you. Wait, you you don't trust Steven? No, it's that's not the point. It's not that I don't... I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to upset you. You're right. We're fine. Almost there. Okay, look, it's not that I don't trust Steven. It's that you didn't ask my permission, okay? No riding with teenagers and no riding with people that I haven't given you my permission for. But you're okay with Steven? No, I am not okay with Steven. Are you listening to what I'm saying? I'm sorry. Good. I'll pick you up at dance practice. Dance class, and I'm not going. 
Why aren't you going to dance class? Listen, Stephen can drive me. I'm not going back to dance because I'm not going back to dance. What does it matter to you? You're not my dad. That's no, not. Shh. It wasn't me. Brimley and Bree, they've been posting pictures on Instagram like all week. Sorry, so sorry. Sorry, Steve. Emma, hi. If you need anything, uh, don't hesitate to reach out, okay? Hey! Mr. Alcott, we will be more than happy to help Emma out with anything that she missed. We just want to help her in this trying time. Thanks so much, girls. That's great. I, you know, I, I think Emma can handle it. Right, Emma? Nonetheless, we're here for you. Yeah. Okay. We're here for you. Yeah. yeah. Mm-mm. You know, I'm, I'm not really into burying the whole pig. Up on the grill, it's off the ground, you know? But it's, you're cooking it. It's hundreds of degrees. Gunny, do you care if the amazing pork you're eating comes out of the ground or off his filthy, disgusting grill? Captain. Captain Dow, sir. Gunny. Walk with me. You know, this thing never has any Kit Kats. All I ever want is a Kit Kat. You like Kit Kats, John? Oh, yes, sir, I do. They are absolutely delicious. You know, in particular, I love the American version. I mean, did you even know that there's an American and international version of the Kit Kat candy bar? No, sir, I did not. See, the American version's a creamier milk chocolate. It's something I have a strong preference for. And they're a bit smaller in size. Now, I think the American size is much more appealing, satisfying. You know, it's a tactile thing. Individual breaks, the portions of the candy bar, they're exactly the right size. I mean, also, the packaging is slightly different. Uh, color scheme, design, things like that. But nonetheless, they both have that unique Kit Kat feel. Gunnery Sergeant Longoria broke his stupid leg. You're next in line, so you're going to Djibouti. Yes, sir. Of course, not a problem. Now, John, I understand the situation you're dealing with on the home front is, it is what it is. So if you're not feeling up to it, you just say the word. I'll send that weirdo Mortensen. <laughs> I appreciate that, sir. Um, but I'm next in line and you can count on me. Take the day to think about it. You let me know if you change your mind. I won't think anything less. Thank you, sir. Meantime, you don't know who we talked to about getting some more Kit Kats in this thing, do you? No, sir. Dismissed. Thank you, sir. I posted a picture of my locker on Instagram, and it already has over a hundred likes. Who even knows that many people? Could you hear me that, uh, that saw right there? <clears throat> She'll find something else to consume her life with by tomorrow. Oh, by the, right by the handle. I just don't want you to, I don't want you to get hurt. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> So, how's John? How should I know? How's it fair that I have to live with him? He was only married to my mom for like four months, and now I'm stuck with him. Did you hear me that, uh, that glue up there really quick? 
and he hates my dog. <laughs> Nobody hates your dog. John does. <laughs> He's all Justin Timberlake, like the congressman. He's clearly trying to make a joke. Whatever. It's like he doesn't care about the things that I care about. So what if I named my dog that? What does it matter? What do you think? I mean, obviously without the clamps, it'll look a lot, a lot better. <laughs> I want to go live with my real dad. Really? I talked to him after my mom's funeral. He said something about how hard custody exchanges are, but I think he wants to do it over the summer so I don't get pulled out of school, and then I'll live with him in Riverside for junior and senior year. I mean, whatever. He's a loser too, but at least he's like biologically a loser. You could live in my birdhouse. I don't think I'll fit. Well, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd build you a bigger birdhouse. So the problem I'm having is this. If I sell her car, it might be train her memory. No. 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 Hey, now, OK. Frank has a point. There comes a time when we have to let go of this stuff. Yeah. yeah. You know, pictures and deeply personal objects aside, we can't hold on to a closet full of clothes or a trunk full of shoes. <laughs> More like a room full of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I got my orders today. I'm being deployed. I have a house full of my wife's stuff. When I first got the orders, I thought, uh, thank God. Now I can get away from everything that reminds me of her. Well, all her stuff will still be there when you get back. And so will Emma. Emma's your daughter? Uh, my wife's daughter. If you get deployed, what happens to her? It's not like I got a say in the matter. I've got my orders. Look, I don't care that you want it. You don't have it, and you're not going to get it by acting like a brat. I am on the phone. Beverly. Don't Beverly me. She was my sister. I lost her, too. I cannot take care of her kid on top of everything that is crawling all over me. That is a priceless piece of art. And it is sensitive to sound. Can everyone please be quiet? Hey, what about our father? I know that you have an important job. No matter what, you cannot leave her in his care. If there's anything that we know that Sarah would not have wanted, it would be for her daughter to be raised by that man. You need to take a look at where your obligations most lie. I got it. Hey, 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 just for dinner. She can last 30 minutes without your cell phone. Thank you. Hey, listen. I was thinking maybe it'd be a good idea if you went back to dance class. One, it's not a class. Two, I don't dance anymore. I have so many great memories of you dancing and how happy I made your mom. You guys were married for like a month. What are you talking about? Can I go live with my dad? No. Why not? Because. Let's be honest. 
This is not what you signed up for. My dad's not that far away. And you probably don't want me living with you for another two years. That is not true. Give me a good reason why not. Because. Because you said so? I'm not seven. You're my responsibility. I'm your burden. I have a responsibility to your mother to take care of you. So you admit. You don't even want me here. That's not what I said. Yes, it is. So you can have a free pass. I don't have to be your responsibility anymore. Look, you're gonna go back to dance class, you're gonna follow my rules, and you're gonna like it. Are you serious? Yes, I'm absolutely serious. What about your job? I'm quitting. I want you to be my full-time job. <laughs> I'm serious, I want you to be my full-time job. I want your mother to be proud of me. You're going to quit? Yeah, from now on out, I'm gonna be a 24-hour dad. You don't think you're overreacting? No, I am not. Well, maybe, but it's too late. I've already made up my mind. What are you going to do with your time? Clip coupons and read magazines? I don't know, maybe I'll watch reality TV and figure it out. But it's been decided, okay? You're gonna go back to school, you're gonna get good grades, and you're gonna follow my rules. What do I get in exchange? You get a roof over your head. <laughs> nope. What do you mean, nope? John, I do not want to live with you. I want to live with my father. Okay, we're gonna compromise. You follow my rules, you go back to dance class, blah, 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 until summertime. And if you're still unhappy, then go live with your dad. Deal. Good. Fine. Great. All right. You're excused. And I'm taking you to school every day. No. Yes. Solve the ride to school issue. Check out the driveway when you're done. Well, come on, Emma. This van's got everything. It's got individual heated seats. It's got AC. When you pull the seats down, they all go down to the floor. I don't care. Sure you do. Oh, here. I got you some lunch. What? Your lunch. I'm going to make you lunch every day. No, I don't want your bag lunch. Come on, you'll love it. I think you have a genuine misunderstanding of who I am as a person. What? Where are we going? Well, I know how important it is for you to ride to school with your friends, so I'm going to pick up Steven. What? What what? John! Hey, what kind of music do you like? I don't. You don't like music? If you pick up Steven in this, I'll be so embarrassed. Why? This van is amazing. He'll hate it as much as I do. Oh. What? Right? An automatic door? That's what I'm saying. Sweet van. Right? Oh my goodness. TVs? Yeah. Wow. Watch whatever you want, wherever we go. And it's linked into my account, so if there's anything you haven't seen, we can get it. 
Hey, what kind of music you listen to? Uh, oh, old school. 70s meatloaf. What? Oh my God, that's awesome. <laughs> 70s meatloaf, do you hear that? Steven can come over for dinner anytime. Thanks for the ride, Mr. Donaldson. Sweet van. Thanks, man. Have a good day at school. Hey, I gotta run. <clears throat> hey, when's dance class done? Rehearsal. When can I pick you up? Seriously? You're going to go through with this nonsense? I could pick you up on my bike if you'd like. Six. Pick me up at six. Great. See you at six. Hey, hey, your lunch. Hey, Emma. Was that your dad? No, he married my mom. Oh, we are totally here for you. Totally. You know, Brenda and I were thinking about throwing a little party, and we want you to come and teach us how to dance. She would be so amazing at that. You would be so amazing. Will you think about it? Um, sure, I guess. Ah! You're the best! best. Are you sure about this? Yes, sir. Sir? I got something for you. Gunnery Sergeant John Donaldson, the service will truly miss you. Thank you, sir. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go find that weirdo Mortensen. <laughs> okay, you good? All right, cool, let's run it. Uh, but let's take it from the arabesque. Again, again, go back. Go back, again, again. Last couple months have been tough for you. I'm fine. I know you're fine. I'm just saying, I know the past couple months have been tough for you. But if you're gonna compete, this isn't gonna cut it. But you don't have to. I feel like I'm nailing most of it. You're nailing all of it. Then what's the problem? You're a robot. There's no emotion. It's like you're computer generated. Listen, they don't just want to see a good routine. They're not giving scholarships to good routines. They're giving scholarships to dancers. You have to let them in. You have to, you have to let them feel something. Let them believe you. I'm trying. Yeah, but you're not, though. It's OK. Let's run it again, OK? Eyes closed. We'll run it with music. Listen, pick something to feel, and feel it. And check this out. You know what the best part is? Have you ever seen Star Wars? Watch this. <laughs> Look at that. Is 
take a minute to think about how each of you identifies yourself. Are you a husband who lost a wife? Are you your job? Do you have kids? Are you first and foremost a parent? We're going to be talking about who we identify ourselves as, whether or not that's in line with who we want to be and how to bridge that gap. So today, we're going to be potters. And by becoming potters, we'll learn a healthy technique that'll help us to avoid identifying ourselves as a victim and start identifying as someone with purpose. I want to introduce a new counselor to the group. Her name is Grace. Hello. I'm so glad you're all here. Welcome. So, how many of you have ever molded this into anything you wanted it to be? High school doesn't count. <laughs> Today is going to be a fun day for me. And I hope it will be for all of you, too. Hey, uh, I got a question. So the guys are going to throw you a retirement party. You're cool with a retirement party, right? And you're cool if we have it in your garage. You can show off some of those cool vases you've been making. <laughs> So, our party is Friday. We are so excited. Okay. We cannot wait to learn how to dance like you. I can't wait. Okay, um, what kind of party is it? Nothing, it's just a bunch of us girls. <laughs> we just want to learn, like, the dances that you have to learn. <laughs> yeah, we already know the dances you don't have to learn. Check it out. Oh, okay, hey, calm. Sorry. Yeah. Stuff like that. <laughs> okay, um, what do I need to wear? Whatever you can teach us to dance in. You're a doll. The best. What was that all about? Uh, I'm teaching them to dance. Oh, at their party Friday? It's just some girls. Actually, it's a full party. Everybody already knows about it. Oh. Well. This will be fun, right? I mean, I guess. That's not really your thing, but. No. Hey, so listen, my buddies want to throw me a retirement party, and they elected to do it here. So you get a chance to meet some of my friends. Oh, joy. Well, it's this Friday, anyone. I have a thing this Friday. A thing? Yes. What kind of thing? A thing thing. What? I'm just listening. I'm not trying to hide anything. Oh, really? It's a thing. Like a group of girls are getting together and I'm going to teach them how to dance. It's nothing. Just a thing. Well, that's very nice of you. But are their parents going to be there? Yes. What are their names? Brinley and Bree. No, no, no. The parents' names. John! Okay. Well, how are you going to get there? Well, I assumed you are going to give me a ride in your beloved minivan, since that's the only thing you like to do these days. That and make a million clay pots. Listen, first of all, if it's Friday, no can do, because we're having company. And as far as my pottery is concerned, it's a healthy outlet for me, so leave me alone. You won't let me drive, won't let me get rides, and won't bring me to the only thing I want to do. Because you want to talk about football and laugh like dorks with your testosterone club? Well, you can ride my bike. It needs some air in the tires and, you know, a little cleanup, safety check, but it's a good bike. Your bike? Yeah. I can ride your bike? Of course. You would let me ride your bike to see my friends? This is the moment. It's the day I've waited for my whole life. I've been praying about this since I was a little girl. That one day, you'd let me fix up your bike and ride it to a party. I thought it was a thing. 
It's a nice bike. Pick it up, Emma. You're behind, Emma. Fine, keep going. Are you okay? Yeah, fine. Why? Well, my alarm hasn't gone off yet. Just want to get ready for tonight. For your thing? Yes. What? Nothing. Did you see the flower I got for the minivan? Yes. Looks nice. Thank you. What do you think? Well, I like it, so wish me luck. Hey, 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 hold up. Bike inspection. <sighs> wow, that looks really good. I haven't seen it look this good since the 80s. You even cleaned and re-oiled the chain. Where'd you learn how to do that? The internet. No kidding? What is that? Ugh. Hey, hey, hold up. I got something for you. <sighs> this is for when the sun goes down. John! I know. But look, it's either this or me and the boys jump in the van, and we go down to your little thing, and we meet Brindley and Bree and her parents. Hey, did you leave the address on the counter, like I asked you? Yes. Can I leave now, please? Yes. And ride safe. Hey, Emma, call me if you need me, OK? Emma, call me if it's important, all right? Hey, what's going on? Riding a bike. Really? Yeah, it's a good exercise. Uh, hey, are you going to Brindley and Bree's thing tonight? Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, I was thinking about stopping by. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. Then I'll see you there. Okay. See you there. Hey, buddy. I'm not the first one here, am I? Of course you are. Of course I am. What is this, guacamole? Yeah, that's actually Maddie's famous jalapeno heavy retirement guacamole. What is this? 
Is this the legend on wheels? Yes, it is. Uh, <laughs> Step inside, check it out. Oh, dude, it still smells new. Yeah, I googled that new smell scent. It's, uh, it's actually pretty easy to do. What's with this flower? Oh, I thought girls like flowers. Emma's not too hot on the Minivan Express. Huh. I'm sorry. Me too. I mean, it is a, a minivan. Shut up. Hey, congratulations. You're doing the right thing. I'm really proud of you. Thanks, buddy. Let's go party. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Is it true? Did you ride your bike here? It's not mine. It's John's, my stepdad's. Well, why didn't you text us? We could have, you know, picked you up. Don't you have your own car, sweetie? No, John won't let people pick me up either. He's the only one who can drive me anywhere. Well, that's horrible. Because of her mom. Oh, of course. Girls. Hey, Emma. Want me to throw you in the pool? Um, my phone is in my my bag. I don't know what that means. <laughs> don't throw me in the pool. My phone is in my bag. All right. Okay. So, what's going on? Emma is going to teach us how to dance. <laughs> yeah. And she rode her bike here, so we're trying to solve that. Well, that sucks. Sorry. Well, it's good to see you here. Thanks. You know, I saw you dance last year and I couldn't believe you were a freshman. Cool. <laughs> Emma should start with Eric. Oh my goody donut, that is totally what's happening. <laughs> Everybody clear the deck, first lesson of the night. Emma's first pupil, Eric Mendez. Oh, Boys, move the furniture. Everyone gather around the pool. We're gonna watch Eric learn how to dance. <laughs> Tell us what you need, honey. Tell us what you need. Um, we get to be next, bro. Just go. You want ice cream or? Yes. Yeah. Yes. You're pretty awesome, you know that, right? <laughs> no. But thank you. All right. Ice cream. Man, cookies and cream ice cream is like the best thing on planet Earth. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit hyperbolic, no? No. I haven't looked at the stars in a very long time. And it, it makes me feel so small. I'd kind of like to just stay here for a while. That sounds nice. I'm sorry about what happened tonight. I should have seen it coming. You're a great person for taking people at their word. I hope you don't ever lose that.
Well, that looks great. Oh, so cute. Tell John I say congratulations. <laughs> Good night. That reminds me of a story. Hey, whoa, Emma's home. Hey, hey Emma. Hey. Nice vest. Hey, I, I heard you were teaching some of your girlfriends to dance. That's that's nice. My, my wife's always talking to me about dance class. Maybe she can talk to you. I think I might be a better dancer than a teacher. Oh, I find that hard to believe. Your mother was an amazing teacher. If there's anything I've learned over the past six months, is she's just like her mother. <laughs> Thanks. Now all you got to do is get her to watch football with us, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> Emma, do you know why John and I are like brothers? No. So my sister and your mom went to college together. And John here was taking a liking to her, so he was always over at the house for the barbecues and the football games and whatnot. You met my mom in college? No, 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 elementary school. Emma, this guy's been in love with your mom since the third grade. All right, so here's the story. My sister drags him and your mom to one of my high school football games. And John's trying to be all charming and whatnot, even yeah. though he isn't. <laughs> so, anyways, there's this other older college guy there, and he's being all loud and disrespectful. And there's girls around, right? And it was not cool. So all of us guys wanted to teach this guy a lesson, right? And, you know, boys will be boys. So this guy takes a shine to my sister. John here steps in. He whispers something in this guy's ear. And he just points to the parking lot. What happened? The guy looks John up and down. Doesn't say anything. He just leaves. What did you say? No, 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 no. He's never told anybody. And that's not the point. The point is, is he took care of my sister without even knowing me. And he's been my brother ever since. To John. To John. 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 Okay, okay. Thanks, guys. Take it for you. All right, I'm going to bed. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Now, what was that story? <laughs> Morning. So, what was this thing? Told you. I taught some kids from my school how to dance. Your girlfriends? Well, that's what I thought it was, but a bunch of other people showed up. How is that my fault? Were your parents there? Did someone call you or something? Yeah, someone did. Did you drink? No! Don't lie to me. I'm not. I didn't drink. You and all your friends were drinking last night. We are adults. I didn't drink. I promise. I'm not stupid. How'd you get home? Steven. But we, we didn't drink. He was totally safe and fine. He's a good driver. He used a turn signal like every time, even if he didn't have to. What is the rule, Emma? It, he wasn't drinking like at all. If you are attending a party, I don't care if I didn't give you permission to go to it. You call me and I come and I pick you up. You understand me? Do you know how embarrassing that is? I don't care how embarrassing it is. Until I can trust you, maybe being embarrassed is a good thing. Whatever. I don't understand why this is any of your business anyway. This is specifically my business because I take care of you. Because of my mom? Yes. Because of your mom. I don't know why I just can't go live with my dad. We talked about this, Emma. <laughs> because I said so? Look, you even called your dad? No, because you won't let me. So what's the point? You follow my rules until summertime, and I will let you go live with your dad. That means no cell phones at dinner, no lying to me about where you were and who you're with, and no getting in the car with anybody that I have not given you permission to get in the car with. Even Steven, no parties, no driver's license, 
And when something is going on with you, you let me know. Now, you don't have to like me, but these are my rules and you have to follow them. And come summer, you can go live with your dad and you can make up whatever rules you want to. You better apologize. For what? For what you did on Friday. I didn't do anything. But if an apology will let us all forget, then I'm sorry. That is not good enough. Not even close. We were going to give her a whole makeover. I know, right? Like we'd even bother. Yeah, you better keep walking. You're not worth our time. Yeah, Brindley and Bria are right. Oh, she just walked away from Girls. us. I can see you thinking. I'm not thinking of anything. Well, you wouldn't have responded to me then. I'm not. You are. You messed me up. Well, if you were in it, then you wouldn't have even heard me. And I wouldn't have had to mention anything in the first place. What do you want to do, Emma? It's a serious question. Competition's coming up. Are you sure you want to compete? Yes. Then you must listen to me. I'm trying to pull something out of you. Again. You mad at me? No. Are you mad at me? You keep talking to me during my routine and messing me up. Good. Use it. <sighs> From the top. John? What? Where's my mom's green dress? What are you doing in my room? I, I want to wear my mom's green dress. Where is it? I, 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 I don't... What is wrong with you? Why isn't anything here? It's all gone. Hey, 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 just calm down, okay? Just calm down. You, you think you can just erase her? I'm not... I'm... Look, I, I couldn't look at her stuff anymore, okay? I, I have to move on. Besides, you weren't using her stuff. I'm not using her stuff. I so can use it, and I, I want to use it. All of a sudden, you want to use it now? You I can move on if you want to. I don't want to. I shouldn't have to. Emma. How disrespectful can you be? Emma. No, 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 no! No. Leave it alone, Emma. I'm calling my father. Hey, Mr. Donaldson. Uh, is Emma here? I brought her a gift. Hey, Steven. Let's go, please. Emma. Emma. Open this door, Emma. Emma, open the door. Steven, open this door. Uh, I don't mean any disrespect, sir. Uh, really, I just... I only came by to drop off the gift I made for Emma, so... Is that a dining room table? Uh, and chair set, yeah. Why would you bring a dining room set to my house? <clears throat> Are you right? No, I'm not all right. Maybe take a deep breath. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Uh. Do you think maybe it'd be a good idea to get the table out and into the house? 
It might give Emma the time she needs to calm down so you guys can talk about whatever it is you're upset about. Yeah. Thanks. What do you think? Steven, just give us one minute, okay? Emma! Emma! Well, hey, at least you came back, right? Yeah. Did you get to talk with her? No, not yet. To be honest with you, I have a hard time even looking at her. I threw away all of Sarah's stuff. Everything. Everything that reminded me of her. But Emma's face... It's just like her mother's. I'm sorry. John, I'm really sorry how tough things might be for you right now. But imagine how difficult they must be for Emma. Just win her over with kindness. Come on now, let's go. Dubs, 170 likes. Yeah, can you believe it? Fastest ever to so many likes. I've been getting harassed by random numbers all morning. Maybe because you deserve it. Or maybe because I shared your number with everyone. Like everyone. <laughs> You're terrible people. You know that? Well, at least we still have our mothers. Zero tolerance, ladies. You know this. We have a zero tolerance policy for fighting. I was just talking to her and she hit me, completely unprovoked. I find that hard to believe. It's true! Look, considering Emma has no prior misconduct violations and I, you know, have met you, I find it hard to believe that you did nothing to provoke this incident. That said, there's no excuse for violence and Emma, you know that. I'm very sorry. I understand that it's, it's difficult right now. I'm sorry for that. Thank you. It's understandable that you're having a tough time with everything. It's not easy. I bet. Look, why don't you go ahead and head on out of here? What? Yeah, what? Girls, zip it. No! These selfish Nimrods are my best friends! And Eric Mendez is the boy I like! You can't have them! And you are just so pretty! Get out of my life! Alexis, calm down. No, you no, calm down! I am sorry I said that! I'll sit down! <sighs> now you've upset Alexis! Uh, yeah, maybe she should go. Okay. Yeah, she should leave. One, two, you three. three. Oh, <laughs> 
like you're on a different planet today, in, in a good way. I just did what you told me. Yeah. Should I go again? High school's the worst, isn't it? What? I still remember. Sometimes. Most people will tell you that the popular kids will peak in high school and you'll get the last laugh, but the truth is, is that they're a pain in the butt forever. That's why you have to rise above it and focus on the things that you want to accomplish. No? Okay. Let's do it again. So with John on one side and the twins on the other, I just Maybe don't... ease up a little bit? Look, I get it. Brinley, Bree, and Alexis are basically terrible people, and they probably always will be. But John, I mean, you gotta admit he's trying. I don't have to admit anything. Fine, then I'll admit he's trying. It doesn't matter. I've already talked with my father, and I'm moving in with him this weekend. Seriously? What? When were you gonna tell me? I just did. Yeah, but doesn't he live up in Riverside County? Yeah, so? So you're moving? Well, it's where my dad lives. Uh, are you bringing the table? Which table? Which table? Oh, yeah, probably not. I made that by hand. There are no screws, I use no glue. It's like the nicest piece I've ever made. Where would I put it? Hey. Hey, is it better than your birdhouse? You're my best friend. I know. Should we get ice cream? <laughs> Come on. She doesn't want to play by my rules. If she has to, that she's, she's going to leave. They're like this, whether they're yours or not, whether anybody died or not. You just got to keep your head down till about 18 or 19, God forbid, 22. <laughs> uh, they come out of it. But it's important not to forget that your stepdaughter's grieving too, and you're this perceived stranger in her home. She's just being rational. It's rational for her to be mistrusting of you. And how many uh, teenage daughters have you raised, Jean? Tell me, are they rational? Um, so, look, I don't mean to interrupt this, but you really need some female help. I'm a mother, as you all know. 
She needs a mommy. Just like a young guy needs a dad, someone to show him what it's like to be a man. She needs a woman with wisdom, someone who knows what she's feeling, that she can relate to, that's gonna tell her that everything is gonna be okay and that certain behavior is not all right. But more important, it's all right to feel terrible. You need to find somebody that she knows and already respects. You're doing a good job, John. Yeah, how do you know that? Well, do you beat her? Do you call her fat or stupid? Make fun of her in front of her friends? I'm not worried about being a terrible dad. I want to be a good one. Saying that makes me think you already are one. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, it's maybe just for the one class. You come in, you give a talk. Yeah. But what I really appreciate is some one-on-one -on -one time. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, you are the best. Okay, I'll see you soon. Oh, I see how it is. Hey, I'm making dinner. And I got a bit of a surprise. You may want to sit down for this. My dad's going to meet us in a few hours. I need a ride. All my stuff is packed. No. What do you want to do? Let's just go home, please. The trick to spotting is you're gonna pick one spot on the wall and you're gonna keep your head there and look at it as, for as long as you can and then just whip your head around. So that's while you're turning, okay? So it should look like this. Wow. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, you try. Okay. When you were doing your feet, you had, this one was, so yeah. you start the- Start with your left leg front. front okay, left leg front. Forward. And then you do, and then when you kick your leg out, it goes out like this, but then, and then you go down and then up? Yes. Is that what it is? Yes. <laughs> okay. Boom. Keep your legs Boom. straight. I'm trying. <laughs> you're not oh even spotting, you're gonna get really dizzy. No, I am dizzy. Oh. <laughs> the trick is not throwing up. <laughs> wow. Are you all right? Yeah. Okay, let me try this again. Spot, um, boom. Oh my God, if Maddie could see me now. 
Nothing. Hey, get away from the car. Oh, geez, that's... That's a warm and fuzzy greeting. Thanks. Where's my kid? Whoa, what are you doing, man? Hey. Hey. What are you you made that little girl sit in the parking lot for 12 hours, Larry. Well, you are just a real boy scout, aren't you? Do you know me? Do you know my life? You know anything about me? You know nothing. So just stay out of it, all right? Hey, you could take one second, just one second, to call her or text her and let her know that you weren't going to make it. Maybe. But I didn't, did I? None of your business. Out of my way, soldier. Hey. Come on, man. What are you doing? If she decides to go with you right now, I'm gonna give you one chance, Larry. Just one. Gee, thanks. Hey, kid. What's going on? Nothing. Just talking to your dad. You ready to go, honey? Just these, and then I need to get Justin and his food and dishes and toys. Okay. Wait, who? Justin Timberlake. Her dog. No. No, sorry. Yeah, no, we can't, uh, can't have a dog at my house. Why, why not? Um, well, see, for one, I have an African gray parrot, so I can't have your dog eating him. And, uh, you know, he's a significant value, this bird. He's monetarily, he's worth quite a bundle, so I can't take the chance. Okay, uh, so... so That's okay. So... Justin and I are buds. Look, you can come back and visit as many times as you want, okay? Okay. All right, sweet. Okay. Um, then I'm ready to go. Perfect. Sounds good. Hey. Make yourself useful. Bye, General. Go do some push-ups or something. your bird? Mm -hmm. Please don't lift that up. He's in a timeout. He tore up my baseball cards. What's his name? Um, Bird. Seriously, don't, don't handle him, okay? Because if he got hurt, that would be annoying. Where's my room? You're looking at it. No more stumbling off to bed after you watch TV. It's all in one. I got sheets and stuff for you here in the in the uh, closet next to the bathroom, so you won't have to stick to the leather. Oh, hey, that remote right there will get you more channels than you've ever seen in your life. Sports package, premiums, the whole nine yards. Have a good time with it. Just don't order any movies, please, because they put it on my cable bill. Food in the kitchen. What else? Um, what's your Wi-Fi password? I do not know. It's one of those long numbers on the back of the router. Are you going somewhere? <laughs> yes, I am. Your dad has himself a hot day tonight with a woman who has a fantastic job and makes a really good living. And she just happens to love the fact that I have a daughter. So if you meet her, be nice, okay? Okay? Yeah. a girl. All right. All right, we're ready to go. That's it, wish me luck. If you need anything, shoot me a text, all right? Oh, hey, don't use this, this light switch right here, okay? This, this one that, that I'm pointing at. Okay. Yeah? Okay, good. Sweet. I'm gonna probably, hopefully, maybe, be late. I hope. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, hey. It's good you're here. Glad you're here, kid.
Is everything okay, John? Clean my house? Yeah, a little bit. What do you think? Why? Why did I clean your house? Yeah, why did you clean the house? I thought you'd appreciate it. I know you work all the time. Huh. Hey, you didn't go to my room, did you? No. Because I don't like it when people. Hey, 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 look out! What? Bird. Yeah, he's fine. Here, come here. He, uh,. He's not attacking you. No. No, he's fine. Well, no, that's good. I can see him. I'm good here. He can open a pop tab. Want to see? <laughs> he can't open a pop can. Yeah, he can. Watch. He's not going to... He can't... Oh, my God. Look at that. He's still open a pop can. Yeah, pretty cool, right? That's really cool. Well, you, you taught him how to do that? He's pretty smart. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Good job. <laughs> That'll be a way to make a few bucks on that. Put him back in his uh, thing when you're done playing with him, all right? How was the date? It was, uh, you know, well, I don't think she's my type. I'm gonna go to bed. Hey, you, you figured out that the whole school thing for tomorrow, right? Um, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sit down. Oh, hey, John. Uh, this is Robert from the dance studio. I'm sorry to bother you. Emma didn't show up for class today, and we have a competition coming up, so... Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm sorry. Somebody should have told you, um... Emma moved out of town, and, uh... I'm not sure if she's coming back. Oh. Wow. I wasn't expecting that. Well, that's too bad. Uh, we'll miss her. Me too. Okay, Robert. Take care. Tell her to clean her room. You got kids? I had two 
presents. I'm sorry. Every man in my life leaves me. That's a survivor's joke. <laughs> what do I do? Well, for one thing, you're missing a good cop. She's got nowhere to go when her sky's falling. Yeah. John, can I be brutally honest with you? Yeah, by all means. She's not the problem. You are. What? So, your dad says you can't go out driving with your friends. What do you do? Not when her mom just died. No, especially when her mom just died. Grace, her mom died driving. It was my fault. It was my fault she was driving. You understand? I was late. I'm never late. We got into a fight and I, I told her to go ahead. I said, just go, go ahead. We're going to this event and uh, she got in the car and she left and It should have been me. I should have been driving. You can't be there for Emma until you forgive yourself. How do I do that? How's your day? You know you're putting all this back, right? Yeah, of course. Mom used to do this. Really? Yeah. Yeah, she, uh... <coughs> could have been, you know, making some money, taking better care of the house, but you no, know, she wanted to dance. Not like she wasn't good, because she was. But, you know, there weren't a lot of opportunities for dancers back then. They didn't have them on TV. Plus, after you were born, you know, that was the end of that. I figured out that I'm going to Truman High School. It's not technically the closest, but we are in that district. Uh -huh. That's good. Let's figure out how to get there. You can't you can't give me a ride? No, I can't. I got a I got a whole uh, morning routine, you know. You take a bus? You have a bike? Or... I can figure it out. <laughs> That's a good girl. Uh, did you have any ideas for food? If we went to the store, I could cook. You know, I got, uh, got league, you know, so. Hey, there's, there's ramen in the cupboard and some deli meat in the fridge. The meat is expired. <laughs> well, the apple really doesn't fall far, does it? <sighs> Look, I, I gotta go, but, uh, you know, maybe I'll bring a, a pizza back later or something. See ya.
Hey, how's it going? Not well. Is everything okay? Will you please build me a birdhouse? You okay? I shouldn't have danced. What do you mean? It, it was a problem for my mom, and now, now it's a problem for me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm. No, it's okay. I mean, no, it's gonna be okay. Really, I. Uh. I'll, I'll always be there for you, Emma. I love you. Just go. Okay? Yeah. Where is she? I'm sorry. Are you hungry? You have no idea. We've got food in here. There's food in the kitchen. We got a barbecue outside. Okay. Thank you. Oh, it's so good to see you. Oh, good to see you too. Hey, hey, hey. Thanks so much. Oh, welcome back. Of course. Appreciate it. Sure. Hey, so uh, I know you practice in the morning, and I figured that this would make it a little bit easier. Now you can practice whenever you want. Come in for a second. 
So you've done it a couple times, right? We're getting it into our bodies. We feel comfortable with the movement, obviously. You look, you look like you are a team. You obviously are. You're dancing together. That's amazing. But I need more. I need more. Why do you do this? Why do you do this? Dance is the one space that you get to just let it all go and feel and be and be honest about where you're at. If you don't do it here, I'm sure you don't do it at home. This is a class for you. I'm not asking you to be perfect. I'm not asking you to be anything that you're not. I'm asking you to open up your hearts and be honest about where you're at. Show yourself. I think we hide behind our dancing. We hide behind our attitudes. We hide behind all of those things because it feels comfortable. Let people in. Whether that means moving faster than you normally do or completely standing still because it makes you shake because it feels so uncomfortable to do so. Whatever it is for you, do that one thing that makes you feel vulnerable and uncomfortable because that is the space that you actually figure out who you are, okay? This time, I want you to go somewhere completely random in the room and I do not want you to do the combo. I want you to improv. I want you to do your own thing, take your own space and I want you to tell your story, okay? Here we go. Thank you. Okay, she would kill me for inviting you, but the competition is next weekend. And she's got the goods. So you better be there. I'm really glad that worked out for you. Thank you. Yeah, so she's on the studio dance team, but uh, some of the students are competing individually. I'm not quite sure how it goes, but I just know that she is happier than I've seen her in a long time. 
Other than that, how was your week? Oh, it was not bad. A little sad, but for a different reason. Just wish your mother was around to see how well she was doing. She'd be very proud of her. She'd be proud of you, John. She's got a lot of her mother in her. And that's incredible. Anyway, next weekend. Next weekend. Next weekend. Hi! Hi! <laughs> You're here! Yes! Hi. How's it going? Nice to see you, Robert. All right, let's get you set up. Hey. Hey.
spotlight I'm sure I feel you dancing with me You're my heart, you're my soul You're my twirl and sway You're my taps, you're my leotard You're my pink beret Time to march on, we'll just keep moving, just keep living. Let's turn the lights up, turn the lights up. It's time to march on, time to march on. We'll just keep moving, just keep living. Let's turn the lights up, turn the lights up. It's time to march on, time to march on. We'll just keep moving, just keep living. Get away from the car. 